Hi, I'm Mike Van der Velden, a product manager at Simba Technologies. Here at Simba Technologies, we are often asked the question, does your MDX provider for Oracle OLAP support SAP Business Object Voyager? Let's take a look. First, some background. Simba's MDX provider for Oracle OLAP is an OLAP connector which allows Excel and other MDX emitting BI applications to access Oracle database multidimensional cubes. And since Oracle is the world's most popular database, Simba is often asked to support various BI reporting tools to connect to an Oracle OLAP database. As you know, we already support Excel 2003, Excel 2007, and Excel 2010, both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Now, can we support SAP Business Object Voyager? And of course, the answer is yes. Version 2 of the MDX provider for Oracle OLAP supports this. Let's see a demo. Here I've brought up my Business Objects Info View Thin Client. And if you're familiar with the application, you can see the metadata here on the left hand side. I've connected to an Oracle OLAP cube. The cube in question is called OLAP Train, which is a free data set that you can download from the Oracle Technology Network. So those of you who have played with that data set will be familiar with the data you'll see here. Here on the left, you'll see the metadata, which includes all the measures. It includes the various dimensions and hierarchies. And we can drill down. And up to the right here is our first crosstab. And if you're used to Excel, Excel calls it a pivot table. So let's create our first crosstab. I'm going to select uh, data, sales data for all regions, and I'm going to put that on my columns. And I'm going to select it for all across time. Let me just put the calendar hierarchy on the rows. And you can see right away the Business Object Voyager has gone to the database and got the total sales for all regions over all years. We can drill down and you can see the data for the various years or across all the regions. Now you see the row here is, very, is blank at the bottom. We don't have any data for 2008. So with Voyager, of course, you can just get rid of the null values. Let's do that. I can drill down into, say, North America. And I realize, boy, it's pro uh, going off the end of my screen. It'd be great to switch axes. I'm just going to do that now. So you can see how we have the regions now on the, on the rows and the years on the columns. I can add a nice pie chart, and it appears along the bottom. And the pie chart data matches what we see up top. If I drill up, both the crosstab and the pie chart change. I can slice across the data as well. Across the, I'm going to do it across the product lines. And I'm going to put the slice, the slice, the report filter here. And let's say I only wish to see data for personal computers. And that's it. Click OK. And the data now shows, let me just double check. I forgot to unclick all products. There we go. The data now shows the uh, sales data for all years across all regions for personal computers. And you notice that these pie charts update with the cross tab. I can drill down into one of these regions, which was Asia, and I now see the data for the various Asian countries for the various years. In summary, version two of MDX provider for Oracle OLAP supports Excel 2003, Excel 2007, Excel 2010, both 32-bit and 64-bit. And as you can see, SAP Business Object Voyager. For more information, including white papers on how to connect Voyager to Oracle OLAP using a Simba's MDX provider, as well as a user and administration guide, please see our website. And thank you for watching.